Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the third and final season of Lost in Space. The Netflix original show has finally come to an end and it's a very bittersweet ending. I'm happy it's ended because it's ended perfectly, but I'm also sad because what a hell of a show this is. Season 1 and 2 reviews will be going out in the future, but I hope you enjoy the Season 3 review and I will give my full thoughts on the whole trilogy at the end and whether I thought it was a good trilogy so sit back enjoy and there'll be spoilers ahead just in case for anyone who hasn't seen it so enjoy anyways so Lost in Space season 3 picks up at the, from the end of basically season 2's ending where they find um, Grant Kelly's um, crash spacecraft in the air that's been lost for 20 years. And uh, Judy's never met her dad. So it was cool to see that storyline come into place in season three. And it was one of the main storylines because they were meant to go to Alpha Centauri. But they got diverted and instead went to Grant Kelly's spacecraft. So the whole start of season three focuses on them being grounded on a planet for a year and trying to find ways to get off. At the same time, of all Judy's secretly also trying to get to Grant Kelly. Don't know why it's a big issue on the start. You sort of question why it's taken her a year to want to go and find Grant Kelly. Bit of a flaw, but you know, you can look past it because the season was excellent. Uh, I'm sort of run through some of the characters and what I thought of their involvement in the series, and I'll cover a few more plot points. Uh, and things I enjoyed about the series and maybe some things I didn't enjoy. Um, so you had John Robinson, obviously the dad, played by Toby Stevens, a fantastic actor. He was one of the strongest people in the whole series. Um, did a lot of his family, his development from start to finish, his relationship with Judy, because um, obviously it's not his biological daughter, because Grant is the dad of Judy, but... He shows how much he wants to be there for her, to teach her things, um, just be a dad in general. <clears throat> and it was amazing to watch. In season three, it was such a strong performance from him. Uh, you know, Maureen Robinson, the wife of John, an ex-wife uh, or the relationship partner of Grant Kelly, played, Mo by, played by Molly Parker. She was excellent as well. She was... Past couple of seasons, she's been slightly annoying because she gets hot headed and whatnot. But it was cool to learn about her backstory of wanting to go an astronaut for the first time, um, her relationship strengthening with Penny and Judy, and um, always looking out for Will when she can. So that was really cool. Uh, I think John, sorry, about to John for a sec. John reached his full potential in this, and I off screen, I hope. You know, you get to see himself and Will do all the fatherly things he discussed. Uh, and same with uh, Maureen. I lo I'd love to see her just spend more time with John and um, have a good relationship with Grant because those three deserve to be happy but in their own ways. Uh, Will, Will, uh, the actor, Max Jenkins, is a f he's excellent, a very young, good young actor, and he's going to go far, I think. To be this scared kid in season one, to be this leader, this engineer, this intelligent young lad who's in charge of getting the spacecraft off the ground, it's excellent. And it's amazing character development from the writers of Lost in Space. <clears throat> it also helped Max Jenkins deliver it well. His relationship with the robot, his sisters, his parents, Smith, Don... All the other characters in the show, he just works so well, even though he was in his own mind and trying to save people. He always wanted the robot to protect the family, to do what was right, and his heart was always in the right place, and Max Jenkins just pulled it off spectacular. Will is definitely one of the highlights of the series. I mean, especially when he... I, I got quite emotional when I thought he died, when he got stabbed. Very um, sad moment, that. But obviously, he didn't end up dying and got a biological heart. Um, which uh, the robot enhanced at the end when sacrificing himself. So again, another huge point of the series. Uh, then you have Judy. Judy is a complicated character for me. She's very annoying when she's demanding, but she cares so much about people and she just wants to control at times. 
but to see her become a doctor at the end, which is her passion, you know, when she was on Earth, so that was cool to see. The way her relationship with Penny improved, uh, looking out for her and taking care of her, and Penny recognising that, it was really cool to see. To see her relationship come full and uh, be finally rectified with John was excellent because John's only ever wanted to be a father to her and Judy sometimes just uh, blocked him. So, you know, great to see that. And it was really cool to see Judy and Maureen's moments when they thought the mum was going to die and they were in the box and they were just reminiscing about how it just used to be them two for a few years. And it, again, there were so many emotional scenes in this because you, it's the last one of the trilogy. We were learning more about characters. Characters were finally coming close to each other, accepting each other for their traits. So much goodness about this series. And the final character I want to talk about in the Robinson family is Penny. Again, this is Penny's strongest season. It's everyone's strongest season, I think. Her development uh, with the boyfriends, I didn't really like the boy. I can't remember the first boyfriend, but when she finally gets with VJ, I was so happy because he's such a likable character. Such a, so many human aspects, not necessarily, you know, strong and, you know, daring and stupidly brave. He's just, he's just himself. Uh, he cares so much about Penny. And it was great to see them grow from episode one to eight. Uh, I'm glad I've seen neither of them died. Uh, and yeah, Penny finishing her book at the end uh, was really cool to see. And yeah, there wasn't really much to say about Penny, but yeah, she did her thing. She became stronger, especially when she brought the robot back to life. She saved it, which was really cool to see. And it, it left an imprint on the other characters who then saved robots and made the army. Obviously, it backfired because you all have died. But it's that leadership she needed, um, which Judy already had and Will had. She became part of that. She became like a mother, like a father, like Grant Kelly, like those characters. And I just loved every single bit about it. The whole the Robinsons grew from this family where you were like, they're so disjointed and they don't know each other. They don't understand each other. Uh, and they try to get by and parents were the main control and then the three kids obviously saved the parents um part way through the series and that was amazing because they became control they became the ones in charge and it was great to see those three just to get a bit of time by themselves learn more about themselves and just better themselves as not as, not just as characters but the actors and actresses who played them you know, max jenkins taylor russell and mina sundwell so Credit to the five of them for doing that. Then you had obviously Grant Kelly, who I think was an excellent addition to the series. His relationship with Judy, his want to understanding, his want to become a father, his relationship with John towards the end. He's thankful for the help he did. Um, he had only a few interactions, but when they were together, it was cool to see. They weren't arguing. They weren't hating. They were just loving the fact that he had kids and he was just grateful to be alive and to be able to be Judy's dad again and work alongside John and be a family together. So that was amazing. Um, the other two main characters, obviously, who featured in all three seasons, you had Don West. Don West probably is a fan favourite for me. Um, he's funny. Uh, in season three, in this specific season, uh, he's become more intelligent. He's become a huge... Um, part of the show. He's got better with roles. He's been given, like, you know, commander roles. He's in charge of people, whatever. And the scenes where people are like, oh, he's part of the family, it's proper hit home because he's never belonged to anyone. He's just been back and forth, back and forth from place to place. And to see him become one of the main characters and arguably the best character in the show is such an amazing thing. And Ignacio, the actor who plays him, did a fantastic job and his relationship with Judy was cool, with Penny, with some of the side characters, with Maureen towards the start. Um, he's a chicken, is it Debbie? Yeah, again, that, that's so much humorous. And it's what Lost in Space 
does well. They balance out the humor, the story, the character development, everything about it. It's just incredible. Uh, then you have Doctor Smith, who I, I actually despised before season three, and then you know she got better and better, and she started to realize this is her family. Um, she cared more. She got herself locked away in prison at the end because she knew how bad she had been. And Maureen was still there for her, which is incredible to see. And it goes to show, because she helped Will, she helped the family, she helped Don, she helped Robot at times. She was very helpful and she was there for the year, apart from the parents. Uh, she's massive help and she did so well in the series. I loved her by the end of it. And to see the character she character she grew into was incredible so uh all credit to parker uh the actress who plays her for pulling that off because she's a very light hate character which was very likable in this series uh you had the three robots you had robot um who obviously i just love seeing him on screen him and will it's just amazing scarecrow is the uh, red one who was killed when getting the engine sad to see it happen that it was a trap see um Ben Adler's robot die. Ben Adler was the guy who died in season two, sacrificed himself to save Will. But for a bit of context for those who can't remember much about the show. But yeah, Scarecrow died, obviously, and then Saw uh, morphed into the new robot at the end, which was awesome to see. An amazing villain, I want to say. Um, these robots were so cool. And to see like the bit, little bits of backstory on how they killed their masters and their leaders and that ship that world discovered. There's so much lore to the world they've created and um, our archaeological side and mythological. And it's just amazing. The robots are incredible. The creatures they included, like that massive sucking thing that was sucking, them, uh, sucking the uh, ship up. So that was really cool to see. Um, this world is huge and expansive and the story is incredible. The actors are incredible. Uh, the humor, the sadness, there's action, there's amazing visuals and technology. The worlds are like Star Wars. When they were going for the asteroid field, it was incredible. I was like watching the Millennium Falcon. Netflix and the crew of Lost in Space blew this out of the park for a trilogy, for a series I didn't even think I was going to care about in season one is one of the best shows I've ever seen. To get a finale like that, battles and robots and robots, and um, just so much goodness, the afterworld. And I'd love to see so much more, you know, Will and Robot went off on their own journey. To, and then we saw dinosaur-esque sort of things. I don't know what they actually are, but they look like dinosaurs. Uh, you saw the family living together, you know, eating food and um, rebuilding the rebuilding the space station above, which is amazing. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the most likable casts, and it's what you you see as um, true character development. Smith is the prime example, most hated character in any show in season one. Season two, she was a bit iffy, but season three, she's excellent. And they've grown all these characters in such a good way. And in many ways, COVID helped it because Will is a lot older, the actor, Max Jenkins. And I, I don't know if it would have worked the same. I don't know, but, you know, he's almost the same size as the robot now. There's jokes and his size and because of the year gap. It's incredible. And um, each episode got better and better and better and grew the story. Like I said, they started on a planet for a year. They got off the planet in the asteroid field. Visually amazing, I say. Um, and I love the scenes that um, Grant Kelly gave her daughter command. She finally realized that Maureen's automatic, um, automated service worked to get her through the asteroid field. And then he revealed that she wanted to be an astronaut from childhood. It was incredible. And we got more backstory and flashbacks on that. Um, it was nice to see Maureen dropping Grant's mum. So he knew part of him was down there helping Judy grow, which was incredible. Hence why she got the traits like her dad. But yeah, it grew so much, so well. Um, the story from one to three was fantastic. And just to see these caves and the markings and the robot history and the robot mythology and the alien tech. 
Um, I didn't think a story, a kid and a robot <clears throat> could go three seasons and make me emotional and happy and all these different things. But it did. And this ca- it's, it's a massive shame that it's over because I say it's a shame, but I'm also happy because it ended perfectly. It started perfectly, ended perfectly. Everyone got their good, um, good endings. Um, yeah, every question I had was answered. I have no ans- I have no questions left. Um, and I can easily say I can look back on this and give it a solid ten out of ten. Um, for everything, as I said, this show. If you're a sci-fi fan, you will love it. It is brilliant. Lost in Space. Season three is one of the best Netflix shows I have seen in a long time. And I I hope another show like this comes along in the future. Unique, obviously, but I love the whole space thing and just to have a family aspect. It's simply brilliant. Uh, just a couple of things I want to add. Obviously, Ben Adler's character was a massive involvement in the end with the voice command for the defences. He was dead in the season, but nice to see if he got him involved. Uh, I love the scene between Will and Ben's uh, family um, to give them that last bit of what Ben said to Will to pass on to them is incredible. Just, it's just the kind of guy Will is, I think. I love the defense systems. Uh, I loved um, Robot and John's relationship, how he finally forgave him um, in the dam once he beat all the robots. The, the robot fight scene is probably one of the best things about the whole series. Um, I love the bits. But the robots are now working with the humans. Uh, Sally didn't stick around. Um, Penny's robot. But, you know, really cool to see them working together now and acting as one. And they can live on um, Alpha Centauri in peace. Obviously not knowing what's going to happen in the future, but, you know... There's so much potential for shows like this out there, and I hope we see another one down the line, as I said. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10, solid for a show. And now I just want to give my final thoughts on whether I thought it was a cl- on all three as a collective. So season one to three, it did everything I asked for. It had comedy, it had action, it had heart. The acting got better from season one to three. The characters were fully developed and have a good good ending. That's for the main seven characters plus Robot um, and VJ and Victor and Grant. Um, They got bigger roles in this series and great addition from Grant. Uh, Alien's excellent. The visuals are incredible. There's nothing more I could ask for from this trilogy. And I definitely will be reviewing season one and two down the line. But yeah, they're my final thoughts. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. Please check this out before spoilers come out there because you want to watch this with a clear mind and enjoy it for yourself because it's phenomenal. Anyways, that's it for me. There'll be more reviews coming this month. Um, The Chucky finale review will be coming very soon. Hawkeye episode three, Doctor Who finale, and many more. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss anything. Like the video, leave any comments below on what you thought on Lost in Space and uh, any future content you'd like to see. If you'd like to see season one and season two sooner, let me know. And that's all. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye.